<clears throat> all right, Shalom. All praises be to the Heavenly Father, the name of His only begotten Son, the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostle, those of great millstone, peace, citation to the hopeful elect brethren, faithful and diligently preaching his word with fear and trembling. Shalom warm to the believers that subscribe to the truth through the spirit of power. Y'all watching me, I was shy. I'm the brother Tazama coming into with another spirit at the wheel, Lord. Will you be edified? And uh, I'm going to entitle this spirit at the wheel. If you don't believe, you should just leave. If you don't believe, you should just leave. Because, like the apostles always say, uh, <clears throat> nobody's forcing you to be a part of this. Okay? And uh, this thing that we are part of, meaning this truth, all right, uh, there can't be any uh, <clears throat> a shakiness. You know, there can't be anyone that's a part of this that's not standing on the sure foundation of this thing which is faith in Yahweh Yahweh Shai that he's dealing uh, us the Holy Spirit to understand his judgment you know and uh, you know when the apostles teach certain things you have to be set up to receive them and when you first come into this thing, I, I, I speak for myself, which I haven't been in this thing but a few seconds, a few minutes, okay? Uh, when they teach these certain doctrines, the, the deep things, all right, um, you know, things that's harder to be understood, at first, you may not be able to comprehend that because the Lord hasn't uh, brought you upon that level yet because this truth is about starting off as a babe and growing into uh, a full man as the scriptures say show yourselves men um, but you have to be trained up through the men that came before you okay and um, you can't skip steps, all right? And you can't be impatient because it'll destroy you, all right? And, and ultimately, uh, as Yahweh Shai uh, said, faith is as a mustard seed, okay? And you have to have it start off as such, as a small seed. And then it has to be nurtured and it has to be brought up. And then it begins to bear fruit. The fruit is the understanding. All right. So, you know, <laughs> if you are in this thing for a certain amount of time, all right, and you still don't see the things that the apostles teach, all right, maybe the spirit is not uh, dealing with you uh, to understand it. Okay? And ultimately, it, it's it's about faith, man. Ultimately, it's about faith. Now, when you read in the uh, uh, book of Hebrews, the 11th chapter, it tells you that faith is the evidence of things not seen. All right? So, in actuality, the Most High does manifest tangible evidence of the things that are not seen by the natural eye. It doesn't mean that there's no evidence that things aren't seen at all. It means that these things that are revealed unto us, right, which he say he has revealed them unto babes, are not seen by uh, the natural eye. Meaning the people of the world, the people that have not received the Holy Spirit and the grace, all right, the gift of faith through grace. You know? Now, I've seen cases where men had faith and lost it. Because it wasn't, it wasn't rooted. 
that's what the parable in uh, Matthew 13 chapter speaks about being rooted you know and the cares of this world will uh, uh, uproot those that are not uh, you know uh, uh, grounded deep in this faith grounded deep in faith grounded deep with faith okay because roots can be plucked up man you'll see men that once had faith and once believed things that the apostles taught and were going along with the with the with the doctrine now you might not have went along with certain uh, you know other things not pertaining to the doctrine okay but at the end of the day everything goes back goes back to this word to this truth anyway you know no matter what it was but the ultimate thing is you have to be able to hold yourself accountable you know you have to be able to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling because at the end of the day it ain't, it ain't dependent upon what nobody else does. It's about what you do uh, pertaining to your relationship with Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And uh, your obedience. Okay? Because at the end of the day, the Most High is dealing with the elect. And he's not dealing with no one member of the elect the same okay you can't be apostle Tohar you can't be apostle Ricard you can't be nobody but you okay in this truth you have to be you and uh, that doesn't mean that <laughs> You are supposed to uh, go against the, the the truth of what's being taught. All right, that that don't that don't mean that. Oh, I don't have to um, uh, abide in the doctrine because that's what they teach. No, it's ultimately about what the Yahweh Shimi Yahweh Shai. Is teaching us through these men okay you know it's one thing not understanding that like you know not really understanding because like I said it was things that I didn't really understand uh, at first and that's how every brother comes in you're not going to understand every breakdown fully because it takes time for the most high to build up uh, your follow ground. You mean, you, know, you, you, you like we all, the Lord compares us to a stubborn and stiff necked people and, and follow ground, hard ground to be broken. So if ground is too hard, you know, it takes a, a whole lot of work to beat it and dress it for a seed to be planted. All right. That's why some, uh, some, some grow faster than others. It's just like in, 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 in nature, right? Depending on what ground you plant a seed in, uh, the, the, the fruit that it bears uh, will not, you know, come as fast. That makes sense. The ground determines uh, a lot of the times. That's one of the aspects of it. The ground, you know, then, you know, it has to be watered. Then ultimately, it's Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shai that uh, dictates the growth. Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai dictates the growth, man. And I've seen trees grow for years and then just stop and die. I've seen it. You know, I, I didn't grow up in the city, man. You know, I was I was out. I grew up, you know, country fields, and I've and I've seen things. 
you know, pertaining to nature. And I apply those things today, uh, you know, in my walk, in his truth, in his faith. Which Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, it, it, he encourages us to do that, to study the, the nature of things, reveal how the spirit works. So again, I've, I've seen trees grow and bear fruit for years and then all of a sudden just die. Okay? And that's equivalent to someone that would come into this truth and lose faith. All right? It don't matter how many years, you know, none of us are uh, irreplaceable. None of us are uh, uh, beyond uh, reproof, rebuke, and even being completely removed. All right? That's what happens with, 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 with different plants and, and trees and things in nature. The, the upkeeping of them uh, is not <laughs> there. You know? So they'll die, man. They'll die. And that's the same as a man uh, that will come into this thing and, and, and lose faith. And it's a scary thing. Because, you know, a lot of these uh, 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 cases were brothers at one point that you very close to. I mean, you didn't you didn't see certain things coming until you did. You know, and in certain certain you know situations, you know you you thought a brother would would have been kept enduring, or even you know uh, you saw them going off and it was like, man, look. Tell them about it. Oh, they're going to get right, man. All they got to do is maybe they just don't understand, you know, need brother to, you know, admonish them. But the Spirit is going to do what the Spirit wants done according to the will of the Heavenly Father and the Son. All right? So, again, like the, the title of this Spirit at the Will, uh, if, if you don't, if you don't believe, you, you should just leave. Don't keep something bottled up, you know, all the time that you don't understand. And and then, you know, once you, you know, uh, once you separated from the fold, oh, now this was a, was a big problem. Okay, because... No one, no one forced you to bottle that up and, and, and go along to get. Nobody's forcing anyone to uh, come into the uh, fold of Great Millstone and uh, you know go along to get along. The apostles tell us like, uh, don't take their word for things. Search them out. You know, don't be a mockingbird. Don't be a parrot. Okay. But just because you're not repeating it and you're not being a parrot and you holding something in knowing you really don't believe, that's worse. That's worse, man. Okay? And it's a bad look once you separate it from the fall for you to come out then and say, well, I never really believed that. I never taught that. I never really believed that, you know, because it, it, and it's another thing too with giving double honors. See, in giving double honors, you don't necessarily have to fully comprehend everything that the apostles understand because they're on a higher level. But if you truly believe that those men are of the household, of, of the Lord's elect faith and they are the leaders that he set up to guide us that's why you get double honors right 
when they go into these things that you may not be able to receive, you're still supposed to respect it, right? You know? And I don't want to sound like I'm saying, well, you can halfway believe, you just believe it because they believe it. Well, you if you really got faith, you say, well, in due time, the Lord will reveal it to where I'm able to see it on that level. And I'm just going to come out blunt with it, pertaining to, you know, uh, Elder Abba Bivens, King Masha, you know, our, our elders, elders, and who they say that those men are in the spirit, right? We wasn't around. Was, you know, we wasn't around those men, okay? We, we weren't. But some of us hadn't even been around the apostles, I never met Apostle Taha. I met Apostle Ramla. You know, I met certain other um, elders, up and coming elders, you know, and I believe they are the men that the Lord set up to guide us and lead us. Okay? Oh. Uh, so, what makes you believe that? The spirit. So the scriptures tell us that the spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high. So if the spirit is bearing witness that the apostles of Great Millstone are worthy of double honors and they are the leaders of Israel, then the men that they would reverence as their teachers that, that taught them and say, well, this man was this man in the spirit. This man was this man in the spirit. All right. And not able to fully receive that you can't give uh, uh, double honors to these men in a sense to where you say that they can't teach to that you know okay no, you you can't teach it because you can you can believe it and you can receive it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that they are your elders and that they are the men that set up to lead you. And and some would, would even say that you know the apostles are certain men in the spirit. You know. But at the end of the day, man, uh, the scriptures the scriptures back and prove that you know. Elijah the prophet would come, okay, uh, before the great and dreadful day of the Lord, and he would turn the sons uh, to the fathers, the hearts of the sons to the father, okay, to their fathers, and that King David would, would come back, okay, that's all in the scriptures, and if these men that we reverence as the leaders of Israel say, that those elders that brought them up were these particular men in the spirit um you uh, are so are supposed to uh in your double honors respect their judgment you know that's spiritual especially when they're backing it up with the scriptures Okay, not just because they're saying it, but because ultimately they're they're proving it in the scriptures. They're not just saying it and saying, "Hey, you gotta you gotta receive this," because I said so. No, the scriptures back up this, and the scriptures back up that the men that the Lord are dealing with are going to have the spirit uh, to be wiser than their teachers. They're going to have uh, the spirit to uh, 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 know deep. Uh, hidden things all right but anyway <laughs> only if you can receive it if you can't receive it and you don't believe then you should just leave so with that all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shad Bashim Kapadash Kwam Yasharala Abal Babal Rise as well destroy confusion Shalom Peace to the lay Shalom